Welcome everyone. It's finally the iPhone 5 release. I picked up my black iPhone 5 as you can see here. It's the 32 gigabyte version uh, in the morning yesterday on release day, September 21st, 2012. I've been using it for a day and a half solid now and I'm just loving the phone. It's got so many great features and uh, it just works so slick and quick. Um, when people ask me how I like it, I tend to just respond with, I love how snappy it is, just how quick responding it is when you open apps or you browse web pages, like everything opens the moment you hit a button. I just uh, love the extra speed. I was just using my wife's iPhone 4 this morning and uh, the difference is night and day in the snappiness and just the overall um, feel of the uh, operating system's responsiveness. So that's uh, due to the... Uh, added value of the iOS 6 as well as all the extra hardware that they've improved on. So here I just wanted to do a boot up. By the way, if for those of you looking for a first time boot up video of the iPhone 5, um, the official iPhone 5, not a prototype or mock up or anything like that, just look above and I've got in my videos there um, a video of the first time uh, booting this device up from start to finish showing you the time so you can check it out there. Really fast boot up, I'm very impressed. It's a huge improvement over the 4 and the 4S. Um, so I'm really liking that. So what I want to do here now is show you a similar boot up type scenario but this time I want to do it um, just by showing you what it looks like after you've got a whole whack of programs, apps, videos, that kind of thing installed on it. I've turned on my Wi-Fi, I've done everything so kind of like the typical use you know, after it's been set up, synced, everything's been turned on, you know, how does it boot up then? Like, we want to know real world examples, not these first time out of the box. So, I'm going to do that here. I've powered the phone fully off, and I'm going to launch it up here for you guys so you can watch. So, I'll actually tip it up so you can see me. So, I'm going to push the power button here now, and we'll let it do its thing. You can see the Apple logo there. So, yeah, while it's loading, I just... Uh, I'm trying to think what my favorite features are of the phone. Um, I really like the 3D maps, um, the downtown um, of the cities, even though it's not extremely usable in the sense of being 3D. It's very cool to navigate around. And the speed of the LTE is ridiculous. It is so awesome. So you can see there, it's already booted up. We're already in. Um, that was very fast. You can see I've got my Wi-Fi enabled there. It's just searching for my network connection or sorry, for uh, for my mobility connection there. And so if we just go in here, just turn it on, you can see I've got my uh, stuff there. I've customized a lot of things. Uh, pretty much just set this phone up like everybody else and uh, downloaded a whole whack of apps. I'm gonna download some more, but I've probably downloaded uh, 30 to 40 already. And uh, yeah, I'm just liking this phone all around. This is the black 32 gigabyte version. And so there you have it quick little overview of what the boot up time looks like. As you can see it's much improved over the 4 and the 4S and that is due to the new hardware in this uh, iPhone 5 as well as the iOS 6. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other iPhone 5 videos above and if you want to check out some other interesting things I've got giant scale remote control airplanes and other hobbies that I'm into. So please check those out. Please rate it and comment if you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.